about the healing ear. Healing ear. Sikio ambalo liko na uwezo wa kusikia. Najua wale ambao wamenisikiza wamesikia nikiongea juu ya uh, kusikia Mungu kama utajiri mkubwa. Ningependa ujue wapendwa kama kuna one of the mysterious riches ambayo Mungu huwa anapatiana katika ufalme ni sikio linalosikia. Hapa tume Biblia ya Revelation 3:20 nasema ya kwamba yule atakaye sikia sauti yangu. Ha? If anyone hears my voice. Praise the name of the living God. Ephesians 1:18 Iliongea juu ya eyes that can be able to see. Ha? Paul alikuwa anaongea the eyes of your heart. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. These are not the physical eyes, the eyes of your heart. The Bible says in Proverbs uh, chapter 20 and verse 12 of Proverbs 20 and verse 12 of uh, um the Bible says uh, ears that hear and eyes that see the Lord has made them both. These are not just the natural ears and the natural eyes. These are spiritual ears. The Bible says, go back to that portion of scripture. Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. The Bible is not just referring uh, to the physical ears uh, and the physical eyes, although we know that God uh, is the creator of everything. But there is a way that God can create in you the ears that hear his voice. And he can also give you the eyes uh, that see in the spirit. You many times you see people in the Bible like especially prophets uh, Ezekiel uh, that they were lifted in the spirit uh, and they could see things. That eye that see things in the spirit. The Bible says it's God who created them. The ear also that is able to hear the voice of God. It is God who creates uh, that ear. Praise the name of the living God. I pray that God is going to grant you the healing ear. Bwana pray sifa. Hazina moja ambayo unaweza kuipokea katika ufalme wa Mungu ni hazina ama utajiri wa sikio ambalo linaweza kusikia sauti ya Mungu. Nataka nikwambia kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wamepitia uchungu katika maisha yao. Kuna watu wengi ambao wamepoteza mambo mengi katika maisha yao. Kuna watu wengi they are not even supposed to be where they are. Kuna watu wengi ambao sio dhambi walifanya. Lakini walifika mahali ni watumishi ambao ni wakubwa wa Mungu. Lakini mwanguko wao sio dhambi walifanya walifika mahali pengine kwa sababu ya kiburi cha moyo wao cha kuona ya kwamba pengine wako na uwezo wa kimwili na wako na uwezo wa kiroho wakajiongoza na hiyo ikafanya huduma zao na mwito wao ukasambaratika Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya wapendwa sikio ambalo linalosikia ni utajiri mkubwa katika ufalme wa Mungu. Gai yake kwa goto kuigua kama mgaabo wake wegitoka. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu akikupatia tu sikio ambalo huwa linasikia sauti yake anakuongoza anakuambia njia ndio hii. Ha? Hilo sikio linalosikia because kusikia Mungu you know why I'm, I'm calling this uh, accessing the mysterious riches these riches are mysterious because for example if you receive a healing ear from God 
hearing from God is not just about hearing. Ha? Sio kama vile tunaweza kukuita. Ha? Bibi nasema in the book of uh, uh, let's read Psalms 29 29 from verse 3. The Bible says uh, the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. What happens when we hear God? The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cinders. The Lord breaks in pieces the cinders of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes, strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. Praise the name of the living God. Hapa tunaona ya kwamba wakati umesikia sauti ya Mungu, one of the things that happen ya kwamba sauti ya Mungu, you know when you hear God, ha, you just stand back and you see the power of creation in your life. Because the same God who said in the beginning, when the earth was full of darkness and without form, and he said, let there be. Huh? And that voice had the creative power. So when God speaks into your life, you can stand back and see that voice breaking the cinders. That voice Praise the name of the living God. Breaking the desert for you and making a way where there is no way. Praise the name of the living God. Kusikia sauti ya Mungu apendwa sio kusikia tu sauti. In fact, one of the things that the, the, the voice of God releases in your life, when you hear God, the voice of God releases the spirit of faith. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 7, Uh, Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Let's look at Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. The Bible says that consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Let's read um, in King James version. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. You know when the Bible is talking in um, New Testament in Greek about the word sometimes it is referring to the logos and sometimes it is referring to the lemma. So here when the Bible is talking about the word of God here it is talking about the rema. So faith cometh by hearing and hearing the rema not the logos. You can read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation but it doesn't have so much impact in your life. You understand the law of God and the way God works and the miracles but it nothing much may happen in your life. But when you receive the the lemma when the spirit of God quickens the same word you can take that word and apply that word in your situation and receive instant results. Praise the name of the living God. Because now it is the logos uh, that has been turned into rema. So when we hear God, and I thank God with all humility, I can say that this ministry is where it is today because of hearing God. Not that I have been perfect, but I thank God for the many instances I have had him. I have had him. Praise the name of the living God. From many years back, huh? when I was a youth, I heard God about my marriage. I heard God about resigning and getting into the full-time ministry. And even before I got into full-time ministry, I remember before I got into full-time ministry, I was doing some, some tailoring work. I was uh, good in fashion and design. And I was having uh, this Singer electric machine in my house. And I could do a lot of work in my house even at night. I started before I got born again. Now when I got born again because God is a jealous God. I am working and I'm still doing some business. 
So I could not find enough time for God. And God spoke to me and he told me, stop doing this work you are doing. Huh? For some time I did not obey and things started happening. I took the machine. I locked it in an iron box. And I could not take it out even to repair my own clothes. Because I knew that God had spoken to me. I continued after a year. God told me now it is time to quit your job as a civil servant and go into full time. And that time I was about 23 years in age. But I had God. Even when my peers and my friends doubted. Wananiambia wewe kweli ni mungu mesikia. Kimani unawacha kazi. Kimani utige wera. Unaenda wapi. Nawambia dege wakona mashimo. Bweha wakona mashimo. Ndege wakona viyota lakini mwana wa adamu wana mahali pa kueka ubavu. Ha? Wana ni challenge. Naenda kuandika resignation letter mpaka wakubwa wangu wakasema ni perekwe kwa daktari wa kichwa. Paka naenda kwa daktari wa kichwa. Daktari ananiuliza maswali. Anasema anaona mimi sio mbaya sana. Ha? Unajua ukipata that kind of opposition na sio kwamba uko na pesa. Walikuwa ananiuliza mahali unaenda utakuwa unalipwa. Nawaambia pana, wazazi wako wako na uwezo nawaambia hata mimi ndio nilikuwa nawasaidia hakuna ishara yote ambayo ilikuwa inanionyesha kwamba mahali ninaenda ni kuzuri lakini kwa sababu nilikuwa nimesikia Mungu wakati umesikia Mungu the spirit of faith inaachiliwa ndani yako na unakuwa na amani nyingi ya kuchukua hatua hata wakati haujui matokeo unakuwa na imani kubwa ya kwamba it is well it is well with my soul praise the name of the living god hallelujah the voice of god releases the spirit of faith in you bwana asifiwe sana na hapa ndio unaweza kuona mtu akianza kufanya mambo mpaka unamuuliza maswali mengine mpaka hata yeye mwenyewe kuna mambo hawezi kukujibu kwa nini anafanya hivyo lakini kwa sababu amesikia there is a spirit of faith ambayo inamwambia anza kuchukua hatua imani kanyanga maji na Jordan yote itakuwa na barabara kuu praise the name of the living god wakati Mungu amenena wapendwa praise the name of the living god neno lake linavunja vunja mielezi hata mielezi ya Lebanon it is a treasure to hear god when you hear god for yourself live around this madness ambao tuko naye siku ya leo ya kuambia prophesy man of god prophesy prophesy wachana na hiyo because you have to differentiate that there is the office of a prophet and there is hearing god for yourself a prophet can hear god for the people for the nation na apatiane direction lakini akienda kwa maisha yake ana struggle kupata direction ya maisha yake. Kwa nini Elijah karibu akufie pale kisimani? The Bible says the brook dried. Yeah? Unafikia kisima kikauka si mtu amekunywa maji ya matope. Au kuona nabii katika Biblia ambaye alikufa na madeni. Ha? Naweza kusimama hapa na nitoe maneno ya unabii kwa sababu ni ofisi hiyo lakini kila muaminio anafaa kutamani kusikiza Mungu kwa ajili yake yeye mwenyewe praise the name of the living god hallelujah and there is what the bible says in the book of isaiah chapter 30 and verse 22 isaiah chapter 30 and verse 22 the bible says uh, isaiah 30:21 whether you turn to the light Look at this. Or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Do what? Praise the name of the living God. This is like a spiritual GPS. Unajua siku hizi tunatumia GPS. Sasa si lazima kutende kule America. Barabara za Nairobi zimekuwa nyingi. Ah, unaenda una una Google mahali unataka na inaenda ikikwambia turn to the right turn to the left after 3 kilometers so the bible is telling you you also hear a voice telling you 
this is the way kama utafiti wa kisayansi unaweza kutupatia gadget ya kutuongoza katika mabarabara tuende mahali ambapo hatujui naye Mungu alijua ya kwamba the plan he has for your life the blueprint that he has for your life you may not know where god is taking you lakini ukifuata sauti yake itafanya utokee kwa hatima yako na hautapotea shida ile tuko nayo siku ya leo ni watu wengi hawajui wafanye nini katika maisha yao hawajui wafanye biashara gani hawajui waishi wapi wengine wanatafuta visa kwa sababu mwingine alipata lakini haujui ya kwamba sio kila mtu ataenda Uraya na abalikiwe unaweza enda huko miaka yako yote 20 30 paka ukirudi hapa watu wanakuuliza unakuanga ulikuanga Amerika miaka hii yote bado unakaa mahali kama pondamari mahali ulitoka haukubadisha chochote kwa sababu ulienda kutafuta baraka zako mahali haziko watu wengi wanafuata wale wengine mtu akikwambia hii biashara iko na pesa unaenda unaweka lakini bado wewe mwenyewe haujachukua wakati wa kugojea bwana umuulize is this your perfect will for me to get into this business healing here is a treasure i pray that this is a treasure that you are going to receive in your life in the mighty name of jesus may you tell god that even before we get to the prayer festival lord Download these leeches of the kingdom into my life. Prepare your heart to receive. Kuna watu ambao Mungu anataka hazina ili atakayokupatia ni uwezo wa kusikia sauti yake. Uwezo wa kuongozwa na yeye. Mimi sikuwa nimefikiria naweza kuja na kuru. I lived in Nairobi for over 10 years. And you know sometimes when people live in Nairobi a city hawataki kutoka pale but one day i heard god telling me go to nakuru nakuru is not a place i knew niko na zoea kupita hapa nikienda kuhubiri tunaenda kuhubiri kisi Uganda hata kuhubiri hata siku moja sikuwa nimehubiri nakuru but i obeyed wakati unasikia sauti ya Mungu ina kuposition kwa sababu baraka za Mungu hazikupati in the physical zinakupata by faith Mungu akikuja akienda kukutafuta hakutafuti mahali huko physically anakutafuta kulingana na location ambayo unafaa kuwa kulingana na mpango wake na baraka zako zinatumwa pale unapatikana huko sasa unasema Mungu alikataa kunibariki. Ni kwa sababu Mungu hawezi tuma baraka zako mahali uko physically. Anatuma baraka zako mahali uko kulingana na mpango wake. Na wewe mwenyewe haujui mahali unapaswa kuwa. Ulipoteza direction katika maisha. By the way it's very unfortunate watu wengi hawataki kusikiliza Mungu because they have already decided what they want to do with their life. So hata nikiongea hapa juu ya kusikia Mungu, kuna watu wanashangaa na vile wamejipanga na wameamua kile watakachofanya lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba siku moja utalia wakati kile umepanga kita backfire proverbs chapter 1 from verse 13 hebu tuangalie proverbs 1 13 ndio nimalize we will get all sorts of um rudi hapo Ludi uh, uh, verse 10 My son if sinners entice you do not give in to them If they say come along with us let's lie in wait for someone's blood let we lay someone some harmless soul let's swallow them alive like the grave and whole like those who go down to the pit we will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder throw in your lot with us and we will share a common pass 
My son, do not go around with them. Do not set foot on the, the your paths. For the, your feet lash into sin. They are swifter to shed blood. How useless to spread a net in the full view of all the birds. These men lie in wait for their own blood. They will lay only themselves. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible is talking here about uh, how you can be enticed uh, to follow other people. In life, you can be enticed to follow someone because you see the gains and the benefits uh, in their life. Even though sometimes you may not know even exactly how they operate in their businesses. You may not even know how ex exactly they operate in their career. Some of them, they have to do a lot of short business. Some of them have to do a lot of dirty things to make the kind of money they make. So when you try to follow them and you are a believer, you end up stumbling because you find that uh, whatever they do for them to benefit, uh, you cannot be able to do the same things they do. So you should not be enticed by what people do for them to make money or to be successful. You are supposed to hear God for yourself. Because when you hear God for yourself, Mungu akikuongoza kwa njia yake, nilisema njia ya Mungu iko na mahali pa kutokea. Iko na ufanisi. And that is why Mungu anaweza kukuita you are a career person. Na anakwambia kama wewe ni wakili usifanye kazi kama mawakili wengine tafuta kazi mahali fulani lakini wanakwambia wewe si ungekuja kwa hii famu yetu si ungekuja tufanye hivi unajua hapa kuna pesa mingi huwa tunafanya lakini haujui ya kwamba zile njia ambazo wanatumia kupata hizo pesa mingi Mungu hajabariki hizo njia na Mungu anataka akuonyeshe njia yake ambaye itaokoa maisha yako na itakupatia amani katika maisha yako Unaweza kuwa ni mfanyi biashara lakini you are enticed kufanya biashara kwa sababu mtu mwingine anafanya lakini haujui shortcut wanazotumia ili waweze kujipatia faida na mapato unaingia pale baadaye unagonga mwamba that is how we have lost so many brothers and sisters in the church because walikuwa enticed wakaingia kwa njabu fulani hawakujua ku survive pale lazima uongee uongo kila siku Unaongea uongo mpaka unashoka. Na kwa sababu unaanza na kidogo kidogo, unafika mahali, unaona ndio niokoe maisha yangu. Niweze kulipa hii loan. Niweze kudumisha kiwango ambacho niko cha maisha. Lazima niendelee na huu uongo. Nataka kusema nini? Kusikia sauti ya Mungu ni hazina kubwa katika maisha ya mwaminio. Praise the name of the living God. Ningetaka Mungu atusaidie because if you receive this mystery of hearing God in your life. I'm not saying that God is talkative. Watch a video tunasema Mungu alinizungumzia, Mungu alinizungumzia, Mungu alinizungumzia. Ha? Huh? Lakini wakati tu unapata kusikia Mungu, inakupatia direction katika maisha yako and you can learn with that direction for some time until God tells you otherwise. Sometimes God wants to speak to us to give us divine strategies for battle why did men of god like david succeed because they always heard from god david himself was a fighter but before he went to battle he could inquire from god how do you want me to fight this battle but for us many times we fight the battle how uh, uh the, the best know the best way we know how and after fighting those battles, when you don't get the results, we start complaining and grumbling. But we ought to hear God and fight uh, these battles uh, with the divine strategies uh, that have been given unto us. Uh. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, uh, that you're going to receive the healing here. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, can you tell God I thank you because I know you are going to fill my house uh, with the treasures. Uh, I thank you, my Father, because like a farmer, you are going to plant uh, good seeds uh, 
in my life. Uh, I have prepared my heart. Uh, I opened the door of my heart. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I am ready to receive from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, speak to God uh, and tell God, uh, I thank you because that I can refine as fire. You have refined me like a round of a sopa. You have removed every blemish, every spot. Uh, and now, Lord, I am ready. I am ready to be used of you. I am ready to be filled of you. Mwambie Bwana niko tiali. Ukajaze hazina zako. Ukajaze na utajiri wako dani yangu. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ongea na Bwana. Sema na Bwana. Mwambie Bwana ni wewe. Ni wewe tumaini langu. Ni wewe msaada wangu. Rika maganda. Ni wewe nae kuonea kiu. Ni wewe ni nae kutamani. Rika maganda. Rise up on your feet as, we, I, as I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rika baganda babo shanda. Rika baganda rima zeria. Rika baganda bashanda. Rika baganda rima zeria. Rika baganda bashanda baganda. Rika baganda rima zeria. Rika baganda. Are you ready for the mysterious riches of this kingdom? In the mighty name of Jesus. Sijini wangapu wanasema na jua mungu wa mekua akini tatkasa, akini safisha. Nyumba ya maisha yangu ni safi. Shamba la maisha yangu limetayalishwa. Na sasa niko tayari. Likaweze kupandwa na begu nzuli. Sita pandwa magugu. Niko tayari nyumba hii ya maisha yangu. Ikaweze kujazwa na hazina. Wapendwa kuna hazina nyingi katika ufalme huu na Mungu anataka akaweze kuziachiria. Oh tusiwe kama kanisa la Radiokia ambalo lilikuwa nasema sisi ni tajiri, sisi hatuhitaji chochote. Tumwambie Bwana sisi ni masikini. Sisi kanisa hili ambalo tuko nalo wakati huu linahitaji rehema zako. Rika maganda ndio tunaweza kujivunia mambo mengi ya kimwili lakini katika utajiri wa kiroho tumepungukiwa reka maganda bashanda reka maganda rimazeria reka maganda bashanda reka maganda rimazeria reka maganda bashanda oh nitajiandaa kujazwa oh nitajiandaa nyumba yangu ikajazwe na hazina za bingu reka maganda i am not going to be empty I am not going to be an occupied. Come Lord, and occupy my life. Come and fill my life with your treasures. In the mighty name of Jesus, even with your righteousness, reka maganda bashanda, the ears that hear and the eyes that see. Bwana tupatie macho yanayoona. Bwana tupatie masikio yanayosikia in the mighty name of Jesus wapendwa kuna mambo mengi tukiyaona yatatusaidia reka maganda reka maganda wapendwa kuna mwongozo tukiupata tutatokea maisha yetu kuna sauti tukiisikia reka maganda itapasua mierezi reka maganda wengine tumekaa kwa jangwa hiyo jangwa ni sauti ya Bwana itakutoa reka maganda bibi na ma sauti hii inazalisha ayara oh my god hawaendi kwa maternity wengine wetu tumebeba oh mimba ya siku mingi mimba ya maono na ndoto ambayo Mungu aliweka ndani yangu nataka kusema kile kitakachofanya ukaweze kuzaa ni kusikia sauti ya Bwana ukisikia sauti yake itakusaidia kuzaa itakusaidia kuzaa ukisikia sauti yake itakusaidia kuzaa itakusaidia kuzaa rika maganda umeishi kutamani kuona utukufu wa bwana umeishi kutamani kuona matendo ya ukuu wake nini itakayokusaidia sauti ya bwana sauti ya bwana sauti ya bwana inavunja mierezi inavunja mierezi hata mierezi ya reba noni rika maganda bashanda rika maganda rimashanda 
Rika Maganda Rima Zeria Rika Maganda Bashanda Baganda Rika Maganda Bashanda Rika Maganda Bashanda Mwambie Bwana niko tayari kupokea utajiri wako Rika Maganda Bashanda Dio Bwana nimejitakasa Dio Bwana nimebomoa madhabahu mengine yote Dio Bwana nimeharibu kazi Rika Maganda zote za uovu Jeremiah aliambiwa enda bomoa enda haribu enda ngoa enda angusha baadaye ukajenge na kupanda wapendwa baada ya kungoa baada ya kuharibu baada ya kuangusha kuna kujengwa tena kuna kupandwa rika maganda shaka maganda kwenda maodoga ya raha da thini wa goroshiado rika maganda kuna mambo Mungu anapanda katika mioyo ya watu rika maganda mashanda wengine maisha yenu itabadilika rika maganda bashanda rika maganda ramashanda rika maganda rimazeria Reka maganda mashanda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda rimazeria reka maganda bashanda reka maganda rimazeria reka maganda mashanda reka maganda rimazeria reka maganda mashanda reka maganda rimazeria